everyone welcome to a godly home so we just had two great big misfits orders delivered let's take a look at what is inside I paid $93 for this order but I had $35 in rewards that I use. We got a recipe in this box. Take a look at that later. Maple almond butter filled pretzels. These are five ounce. Wicked excited about that. More of the Ghirardelli chocolate chips. If you guys wonder why I buy so many chocolate chips, Corey likes his cookie tin full of homemade chocolate chip cookies. And Jacob likes to make a trail mix out of these and dried cranberries. For his lunch and i like to make a trail mix out of these miniature marshmallows nuts and cranberries to snack on in the evening okay mini peppers those are for a canning project that i'm going to be doing Three packages of mini cubes. Those are going to be for the same canning project. Two bunches of cilantro. That's for a different canning project. These colored peppers are for a canning project. These were six packages of ground brown gravy packs. They are absolutely soaked, like just soaked all the way through. A can of odds and ends organic pumpkin. That's gotten pretty dented. And another can. Those come in a two-pack. Then in the cold bag, two bags of the pepperoncini shredded cheese. These are eight-ounce bags. Um, I think it said what this is was uh, Asiago cheese with hot peppers in it. It was a really good price, um, even compared to like the cheese in my regular grocery store that isn't organic. So we'll just get creative with those. Couple organic cream cheese. These were a limited time thing. I guess the company is discontinuing this flavor, but these are yogurt, salted, caramel, chocolate, and I grabbed two of those. If you're new to the idea of Misfits Market, if you haven't been watching my videos since I started ordering from them, last spring ask me any questions or i can do an updated video on how it all works just let me know what you guys would like to see um it's probably not worth it for somebody who lives close to the store but for us we have some food allergies here so organic is better 
and we're not very close to the store, so it's very handy. This cuts down our trips to town. Okay, late July organic sea salt nacho chips, non-GMO. I ordered a bag of these last week and they arrived with both ends busted out and loose all through the bag. They refunded me, but I grabbed another bag this week. Pitas, we've been getting these instead of the wraps. They've been much cheaper and I have been putting... Um, Mayonnaise, American cheese, cooked bacon, sliced purple onion, lettuce, and dill pickles on them for my son's lunch. Two packs of the heirloom tomatoes. These will have to go into the um, window and get ripened up, but I've been popping those right into the freezer for winter just to kind of make up for whatever my garden did not produce. We've got more brown gravy packets in here. It looks like they accidentally sent us 12 instead of six. So we'll just get those dried out. We won't be complaining about that, about them being wet. Um, a pack of organic romaine hearts. A mini watermelon we're gonna eat this and then we're gonna make some pickles out of the rinds and I'll be sharing that with you very soon a thing of plain pretzels a thing of russet potatoes these look nice and beautiful very nice potatoes they're selling for about a dollar a pound some dill for a canning video coming up. This jelly, this is intense strawberry. I just finished the cherry flavor and this jelly is so good. It's not very sweet. It just tastes kind of garden fresh. It's not quite as thick as other jellies, but I'm really enjoying that on homemade bread toast. One of my canning recipes that I'm making called for horseradish leaves. Could not get any of those at my local store or Misfits. Um, the woman that has the recipe said I could use horseradish root but my local store didn't have that and neither did misfits market so i'm gonna just substitute for horseradish sauce you gotta just do what you can do with whatever you can get okay then i got eggs i always get eggs from there now these are mediums instead of large but these are beautiful eggs. Every bit as good as when I used to raise chickens and have eggs. Um, usually they arrive without any broken. And these are selling for somewhere around $2.60 a dozen. They allow you two dozen a week, but there's two different brands. And they will allow you two dozen a week of each brand. If I am baking something that really needs the large egg, I will just add, like if it calls for two eggs, I will just add three eggs. But generally speaking, most of the things I bake, I can get by with a medium egg anyways. Another one of their butters. It's getting so this is all we buy for butter. It doesn't take very much of it. We actually use less butter by getting that. Uh, two more yogurts that the flavors are going out. These are the cookies and cream.
and four pounds of the grass-fed ground beef. We always get this brand. It's 85% lean. We didn't like the 80% lean. It was ground a little coarser. It wasn't as good. Um, this is all we get for ground beef now. We don't even buy ground beef from our regular grocery store. Okay, guys, that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye.